because God is very merciful. Like if you ask, it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Like knock and the door shall open. And you want to get to the point where you're knocking on the door of God and he's literally like pouring into you. hi guys welcome back to my channel it's d Oli here if you're new here welcome so today i wanted to do a video um talking about um my journey with god and mentioning closely with the my daniel fast i took and how it actually transformed my life and changed literally the alignment of my life basically it changed everything like so basically last year um just to go straight into it i did the daniel fast i think like late last year and last year as you know 2020 was such a hard year for all of us i actually like felt like i was a little bit lost um spiritually anyway and i mentioned in my previous videos how like being spiritually um uh, leveled up is, is very important like being high in the spirit and being very much in tune with the spirit and last year i felt like i was quite far away things did like i don't know covid and, and lockdown did actually have a, like an impact on me mentally as well so I felt kind of lost with everything just to give you a bit a bit of a brief of what the daniel fast is the daniel fast in the bible is basically when daniel himself kind of fasted for um i think it was like 10 to 21 days which was three weeks um and he basically had no dairy no eggs no nothing um he only kind of he kind of ate like a vegan he didn't eat anything that had dairy in it he didn't eat any butter he didn't have any like um white um like white starchy foods like potatoes and rice and things like that he, it was basically just a vegetable um minimal salt minimal seasoning kind of diet sort of thing um i think he ate things like quinoa and couscous and stuff because that doesn't really have a lot of starch in it i'm not sure but yeah that was like the main like that's the main gist of like what the daniel fast is to myself you know what i think i actually need something like this i think i need to do something like this but when i but i told myself that if i do it i can't just do it half-heartedly i have to do it like i have to put my whole heart into it i have to completely come off social media and completely like stop talking to my friends for three weeks and just like you know focus on god which means read my bible meditating um praising worshiping everything just soaking myself in the aura and the love of god I did it at the beginning of the month i think it was september and I did it for three weeks and I remember the day before I started I was at one of my really good friends house and we were just talking about life and I was just telling her I was just being really open with her and saying like right I don't know what's going on with my, my life you know things are just not going well for me I was at a difficult point yeah I started it the next day I wrote a list down I wrote down exactly what I should see change in my life by the end of the Daniel fast or just maybe a few weeks after and um one of the main things i asked god for was spiritual clarity and for understanding and for me to be in god's will i wanted to do a daniel fast to make sure that god is telling me that no you are in the right will you are, you are in the right purpose you are in the right plan that was one of the main things for spiritual clarity guidance and everything because i was doing a daniel fast mainly for connection not because i wanted to ask for things but because i wanted to just get close to god and i went through each and every one of those points um, and put Bible verses next to those points. So when I do pray, um, it's like I'm using the Bible verses to speak to God and communicate with God. And when I tell you guys, from day one, is to see the moment I completely shut the world out and I focused on God, the revelations, the, the way God was opening my eyes was incredible. But what was very interesting is that um, at the time I was doing Okay, one of the main things that changed is that I didn't actually have my driver's license before the dining fast. That's one of the things I was praying about. And because of the situation we were in, in terms of like lockdown and everything, I wasn't sure that realistically, will I, will I be able to get my license in 2020? Like, it's looking like a no, sir, you know? That was one of the things that I trusted God on. And honestly, when I tell you, God really pulled through, like, as he, as he always does. So the, I think the first week I had like, I had to take my driving, um, trying to test again like from the beginning like i think in the uk you have to do the practical theory so yeah my mom was my mom was very encouraging um she said don't give up you know and i'm not gonna lie i was on the brink of giving up because i'm not someone that gives up easily but you know when everything around you is so overwhelming and you're already emotionally drained you're already emotionally tired um 
uh, I felt like my mom was literally just my backbone. I just needed her to just encourage me at that time. But yeah, I had to actually um, do my driving lessons with my instructor. And I had one, I had one instructor that I was using just before lockdown. Like um, I had that instructor um, and then I had one lesson with him, just, like maybe a week after I had passed my, um, my theory. So yeah, guys, I had to do my practical with my driving instructor that I had since like the beginning of 2020 because this was like leading on to the end of 2020 so um yeah i had like one lesson and i don't know what it, what was going on but the wheel was just not making sense like every time when i was trying to turn the car it was so stiff and it just felt like i was like kind of fighting with <laughs> it kind of felt like i was fighting with the wheel and it wasn't just it wasn't like i don't know it wasn't easy to to steer and it's weird because I had never had this problem before. So I was telling the um, instructor, I was like, yeah, I don't know what's going on, but the wheel is so strange. And he told me, oh, that's strange. He's never had anyone complain about that. Like, he said that, that's really weird. He said he'll get it tested. And I think I did one more lesson with him before I said, no, it's not gonna work. I changed and I found um, another instructor. And this, and funny enough, this instructor was like, you're lucky because if you had not booked that day, I would've been fully booked. I got booked this instructor and um he was amazing like his car was so easy to drive it was a ford fiesta i think it was a ford fiesta and it was so easy to drive it was it was like butter like, so i found it very easy to drive so i was just i felt very confident i did 10 hours with him and um i booked my test and literally i booked my test at a time that nobody usually books i booked my test at like 8 45 a time where nobody is gonna book for that time because everyone knows it's rush hour but thankfully i don't know what happened but thankfully i booked it in a week where it was half term so there was no it was literally the roads were clear there was no one i think i, I had the idea to um basically like keep refreshing the the timetable to see if anyone has cancelled any of their dates and obviously someone cancelled 8 45 because no one wants to have that time so i just said okay let me just buy it let me just buy that date and that's when my instructor actually thought that I was going to be extremely busy. But then the week before I had my test, he told me that he realized that the week I bought was actually the best week because there's no schools, as I said before. There's no schools, there's no parents on the roads. It's literally quiet. Imagine very early in the morning, the roads are literally dead silent. There's nobody there. And then compared to like school, doing a school run, the whole road is swarmed with like parents that's trying to rush. So literally when I told you, God, because that was the only date that was available. Literally, as soon as I saw that available date, I just booked it. So when I saw you got intervened. I wanted to get a better job than what I was in currently. And I wanted a graduate scheme or a graduate job. And I said, God, I don't want a particular job for myself. I want you to give me a job. I don't want to say I want this particular job in this particular company. Just give me a job where you know I would flourish where you know i would excel and where you know where i can really grow as a person as well as in my career um and it will literally be tailored into um my business ventures as well whilst I, I think i had one week where i was it was a quite quiet week you know i was just um i think it was on a saturday i'm not sure but i know call from this recruiter and um he said oh hi we saw we saw your cv on um a graduate website and we think you'll be really good for this role and i said hmm, what role and, and usually when recruiters call you they usually call you for like an unknown company like what are the unknown company like a company that you've probably never heard about the job role is just like it's all right pay is i you know and then when i opened the job description they sent to me um i said like, oh i was like well 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 and i saw the job title and i was like okay oh wow and the role was basically um, a consultant role and it was for one of like a big technology and consulting firms like corporations i would say um that's literally global they have offices all around the world the recruiter was really helpful he told me um you have to apply and write like three mini paragraphs as to why you want to you know get the role this was like the application process that the initial application process so i did it they got back to me the company came back, come, got back to me and said, oh yeah, you made it to the next round. Um, and this was during the time I was doing my Daniel Fast. And bear in mind, just until I, just before I continue the story, 
God had showed me during the first week roughly everything he, had, he was going to he was going to do for me he has shown me everything the list I had written down in every single thing that um, I saw either in a dream or revelation or God speaking to me audibly I had seen it or heard it God has shown me already that he's done it for me and it goes back to the Daniel how Daniel was fasting and in the first maybe three four days um, God actually answered his prayers and sent down the angels to to answer his prayers but it was only the I think it was the Prince of Persia that entities that stopped him and the angels were actually stopped and they were delayed in regards to my story um, in the first week God had already answered and show me what he's already done and it was incredible because I was saying wow you know you can see something has been done in the spirit but the physical it hasn't manifested yet so I just kept that faith yeah continuing I did the application process and um, it was like it was really extensive you know with the graduate scheme you have to jump through so many hoops to see if they like you and stuff like that so I had to do initial application which was so long I also had to do a test I also had to do an interview, a virtual interview, which was quite challenging. There was even like a mini test within that as well. And then the last round was the um, assessment center. So with that assessment center, guys, can I tell you this assessment center went so crazy. <laughs> like this assessment center, like, oh my goodness. When I explain to you what happened in this assessment center, you, would, you even think to yourself, how? And one thing that was really, really, really affecting my ability to communicate effectively was the fact that obviously it wasn't my fault but the internet when i told you the devil tried it that day the internet was like scattered literally i'll be on the call i'll be um listening to the presentation someone else speak as soon as it gets to my turn the internet will just cut off and it'll be frozen and they'll be like oh deborah are you there can we hear you we can't hear you we can't hear you and I'd be like, oh my gosh, what's going on? I'd have to turn off the the Zoom meeting, come back again. And it was discouraging me so much. Like I was just, but something kept on telling me, just keep going. Don't like, don't um think you haven't got it yet. Just keep going. So I kept going. And as I kept going, the internet was still trying to fight me. Like, of course we have no control over the internet and everything like that. But like literally every time I was trying to speed, the internet would just cut off, it would be like scattered also when i was just to add as well something that happened that day is when i was um actually doing my presentation when i was actually doing my presentation um my mom's keys because obviously i could drive at this point my mom's car keys was um in my room and it was actually on top of this um white thing that you can hear like is that kind of like a kind of storage thing but yeah it was on top of this and um she actually was on the floor like here I don't know if you can see this area, but she was on the floor here saying, Debbie, because she knew I had an assessment. So she was on the floor saying, Debbie, Debbie, pass me the key. And I was like, you don't understand. I turned around and I was like, wait, what? What's going on here? And like literally, yeah, I turned around. And I had to like exit the call because I didn't want them to see me stand up because everyone was sitting down. I mean, obviously, we were all sitting down trying to do the presentation and it was me presenting to the, um, to the, the, to the, to the assessors. So it was so embarrassing, I had to turn it off. <laughs> so after that, we um, we went on to play a game. I think we went on to play a game, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think we went on to play a game or did, we didn't have a presentation. And they were, that went fine. Spoke to the graduates, as I said. And then we went on to do a one hour long personal interview, so like a one-to-one -one interview. And this interview, when I said, when I say I prepped for it, like I prepped for this interview so much one of the assessors was just shooting questions at me and i was saying yeah this and this and that and i was trying so much to um, really impress them and make sure that they know that i did my research and i know this company like the back of my hand sort of thing so that was the end of it and um i didn't hear back from them two weeks later but this is where god really came in and really turned everything around so a week after my assessment day and everything had closed and everything because when the assessment day was done and um, they said okay we'll call you like at so and so dates or text no we'll call you or we'll email you at so and so date to see if you, to let you know if you've got the graduate scheme or not it was a week after um doing the assessment day and i hadn't heard anything back from them and i, I remember it was one random night god just showed me a dream and given what happened on the assessment day, um, how my mum was on the floor, and I think they did actually see her, and my internet was just very like crazy. 
I thought to myself, it's inevitable that I didn't get the job because obviously other people must have performed better because they had more of a better chance. Um, so yeah, I had a dream that I li like, I literally had a dream of me holding my phone and me seeing a congratulations email of the job, of, of me getting the job. And when I opened my eyes, I was like, I literally said, God. I said, I literally said, God, any evil, any demonic that wants to go against it, I cast and bind. Literally, I just, you know, I said to myself, wow, this is, this is intense. That's what I'm saying. It's good to level up spiritually because you will literally be seeing things that will happen in the spirit before it happens in the physical. If you go, if you are literally aligned in the spirit, God will be showing you things like that. Um, as I said, like, um, how I saw that I got the job, even before they had even told me. God had already shown me what had happened because I, I believe God allowed me to get that job. Continuing on the story, I digress. <laughs> after that, I had that dream, which was a week after the assessment center. Um, I think like a week and a half after the dream. So it was like two and a half weeks after the assessment center, they called me. She was like, hi Deborah, um, this is um, so-and-so from so-and-so company. And I was like, oh, hi. And I think at that very moment, I forgot about the dream. <laughs> And my heart was beating. It was like, yeah, we just want to make you an offer for the for a graduate scheme. And I was in shock. Like I was so shocked, and I was just so stunned. And I said, thank you, God, because at this moment, I had, I think at this point, I had finished a Daniel fast, which was for three weeks. Um, I had already had my driving test. Um, spiritual clarity was very much so in front of my eyes. God was showing me things that I don't think I would have seen if I had not done the Daniel fast. And God had ticked off one of the biggest things that I was asking to understand and asking for. Um, but it wasn't something that I wanted for myself. I said, God, whatever you want for me, direct me there. And honestly, that's what he did. Um, and yeah, she said, yeah, we're going to call you. We're going to email you all the details. And I kid you not, the email that she emailed me was exactly the email I saw in my dream. When I saw it, I was like whoa this is crazy <laughs> i was like whoa guy there's a nice somebody raised from heaven above with with the power and love guys and that's some good and literally i was singing i was singing i was singing i was like wow god look at how powerful you are like you're just amazing like i said even god even when i was so like down like you really did comfort me in a way to just show me that everything will be okay and literally like other things that i had written down on my list god had literally answered it i can literally even when i go on my list right now like i wrote it down um i literally ticked off every single like point every single point i ticked it off and it's incredible because um the daniel fast is three weeks but when I tell you after that three weeks, you will feel the like everlasting love. The you will feel the tangible love of God. I felt like my heart was was oozing with joy. Like I don't know how to explain it. It was unexplainable. Like the words describe the love of God and the favor and mercy of God is is, is you can't even explain it. And I just felt so I felt so strong. I felt so close to God. Like after Daniel first and um although this is a story of how um the daniel fast changed our life i want to go into the daniel fast itself and speak about the fact that um during the time of daniel fast it was extremely hard because you know i'm a meat eater i like you know spreading a little butter on my toast my bagels and stuff like that i don't drink milk but i you know like dairy and stuff like that but so having so doing the daniel fast really did um uh did have his challenges and i would say it was hard but it was worth it and honestly this daniel fast was probably one of the best things i had done for myself at the time i think it was very very necessary because um the way god really showed himself in my life and he literally had his hand in every single thing i was asking for you can ask god for what you want and he will answer 100 percent he will but at the same time, you want to make sure that you're asking according to where God has aligned you to be. I just want to say, like, if you feel down, if you feel sad, depressed, you know, derailed, you know, lonely. Honestly, the only person that can feel that void or feel that sadness or feel that, you know, 
part of you that you are so much so craving for god is the only person going back to feeling depressed and everything when you're when you're high in the spirit and you're really sound in the spirit mentally you have more um more of a solid ground um you feel more whole and you feel more um happy and joyful within yourself because you have to understand that god is love god is peace and whatever god brings to you is going to be of that god will only bring things that is going to help you because even in the bible it says this one is the one that i used um jeremiah daniel fast and it's jeremiah 29 11 and it says for i know the plans i have for you declares the lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future and when you read that and you hear it and you actually soak it in you see that whatever god brings to you it can only be of success it can only be of um, prosperity it can only be for you to have a better future god said that he has plans for you as in your life god god thinks about you god is here with you he has a plan for you your life has a meaning when you just think about the verse jeremiah um 29 11 and also psalm 91 it makes you realize that there's only beauty success prosperity love kindness favor and peace as well as happiness in your future when you're when you reside in the presence of god that is the only thing that can be for you you know because god is love <laughs> i just have to go on a uh, tangent and talk preach a little bit but like having said everything i've said the daniel fast changed my life because um i seeked god's presence i um seeked his his word i seeked him completely and we haven't said that he changed my whole life around not only was i able to ask and receive and seek and find but god showed me he revealed to me you know the future and i think the most powerful thing is is that when you can see your future and when you can see what is yet to come it makes you more confident in who you are and where you're going it makes you confident in your purpose your plan as well so yeah um that is the end of my video guys um i hope you did enjoy the video um i feel like i did talk quite a bit i just hope that you know um you guys can understand that you know god is love and god is the way to go <laughs> god is the way to go and please comment down below if you've done the daniel fast or if you are looking to do it now um and also like this video if you found it helpful in any way so i'll see you in my next video guys thank you so much for watching and yeah bye guys